Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, getting my fireside chat without the fire, of course, here. I'm not at my house, so I can't exactly do what I do. But be that as it may... Um, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is getting a bit of flack right now um, because it. I'm trying to figure out the best way to put it. Micah Parsons is an incredible talent on the football field and even in the broadcast. Yeah. If he, football doesn't work out for him, you could definitely see him since he is. <sighs> I guess the vice president or the president of Bleacher Report right now. Um, you see how he's doing versus, say, Skip Bayless. Thank God he didn't join the undisputed Skip Bayless show. Um, boy, talk about a uh, dodging a bullet there. Um, and Micah Parsons understands that he's an incredible talent. And he, it's not that he doesn't work out and keep himself in shape. He does. But, see, you can't be a soldier of one on the football field it's about 11 guys and this is one of those things that i've killed you know because you, you can't just kill other people and not kill your own guys and look at it differently you have to keep everybody the same i've said things like aaron Rodgers. aaron Rodgers doesn't like to do off-season work that's who really wants to work um but he likes to hang out in California. And like the last year that he was with Green Bay, you know, he didn't show up for the OTAs or anything else. You're the main guy. You're the leader. You're the guy who you need everything to come off of you. And you not being there hurts the team. And there's no if ands, or buts about that. And this is a case of Micah Parsons, who wants to do his own thing. You know, he's doing his own training and working out and it's not that he's not getting results but you need to be working with your guys too and so you can see we heard before the guys on 105 fans say that uh, some of the people some of the coaching staff was getting tired of Micah Parsons you know attitude and lack of necessarily being there so you can put that together. Shout out to the traditional journalist. Mike McCarthy. This is where it's kind of boiling up over a bit. Mike McCarthy was asked if Parsons having have missed the opportunity to elevate his teammates by missing part of spring the past two years. Said, I think anytime you have a chance to be together, it's an opportunity to improve. Yeah. Because what you have to understand is Micah Parsons can be that mentor that he can teach the other guys and things that they work together because see Micah Parsons, his speed alone makes a difference because he is so fast that he can leave gaps in the defense if you're not understanding how you have to play with him. Um, the physical realm which is limited, obviously, at this time of year. You know, you can't go full go. We're not in pads and, and helmets and all that. Um, and the emotional connection and so forth. So it's about those new guys coming in, um, the change of coaching, because you're going to be doing a different defense, and so on. Um, but, you know, it's a long year. Training camp is really the heightened focus for all of that. So he, he's trying to walk it back some and say, you know, I, I'd like them to be here, and stuff, but it's not really that important. But listen a little further. But yeah, it's definitely an opportunity to be missed. And you can tell that Micah Parsons not being there is definitely one of those things that's kind of bugging um, Mike McCarthy. Um, Parsons did train with the team on Wednesday, asked if he was here today. Mike McCarthy referred to former Cowboys linebacker Darren Hambrick's quote. What do you mean 
what do you, what do voluntary mean? As in, is voluntary? It's voluntary if you're Micah Parsons. If you're every other player that can be cut, there's no such thing as voluntary. And so that's where you kind of start to wonder, um, is he a diva? Is he deserving of saying, you ain't got to be there, bro? And this is one of those things that kind of bothers me because, um, and I'm not trying to put Micah Parsons in the same category as Rolando McLean, but Rolando McLean was a guy who had all kinds of talent. He was incredible. As a linebacker, he was an incredible thumper. And most of the times he had the attitude of, you know, no, I'm not practicing today. I'm going to hang out in the training room or I'm going to hang out in the weight room and stuff. And played with just raw skill. He was just so good that he could do that. But the thing was is he never achieved what he could have been. Um, and it made it harder for his teammates. Now, that's not to say that Micah Parsons is Rolando McLean, but it's one of those things where you understand that working together as much as you can, every opportunity you can, is important for the team and for the players. And so um, I hope that this is not something that's going to linger, that he's going to be getting back in here. You know, you're paid well, not yet, not the big check, but your job is to be the best football player you can and teammate. And I really want to see, um, see him in here. I'm trying to stay positive about it, but in the end, man, I need you here, bro. I need you here to mentor these guys. I need you to be here getting the, to understand this new defense and everything. And I need everybody to coalesce to become a great team. So we'll see how that goes. And not having C.D. Lamb here, that's another issue as itself. And as I talked about earlier, some of this is of the Cowboys' own making because if you're sitting here looking at the team and saying, I'm seeing all these players out here getting paid and so on that they're showing how much we care about you, how you know excited we are to have you, how thankful we are. We're showing you the love. Why should I show you the love when you're not showing it back to me? This can't be a one way relationship. So there you have it. The Cowboys, they got some issues they need to take care of. And, um, they need to do some soul searching here on getting this stuff together. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And remember, tell the people you love how much you love them. Life is short and life is precious and things can change really fast. And you want people to know how you really feel about them. And I love you guys. Peace out.